And we're back for some more Witcher, baby. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I don't know. This, this arrow is weird, but we have to go. Go upstairs now. Okay, now the arrow updated. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So we gotta go to Priscilla and tell her what we learned about Dudu. Or him. There we go. I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Fox's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea. But I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides... Do you really think Doody whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Doody's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. But perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Doppler's Salvation is smaller. Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, alright. So it's a comedy. 
I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Comedy. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> a bitcher. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kidding. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. See ya. I didn't know that Witcher actually, or Geralt, is actually sleeping. Because the only thing you see him al always do is meditate. He doesn't sleep. So that was actually the first time we see him actually sleep, right? What the heck? <coughs> what the? Where you going? That's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to trudge to. This where Madame Marina's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Thank you. Hello, mama in rehearsal. Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Wow. She knows instantly what we're looking for? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dobblers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, 
that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. What about 50 cent if I don't want usher? Well, that's a dumb joke. I'm so sorry. Huh? Yeah, that's why we're still a small channel, dude. <laughs> the presence is in the front of the eternal fire. Running my way through town. Running fast. Face your spares and I'm homebound. So where's that Far Cry 5, the lucky? Ah. Well, maybe, maybe now that you know that we... Yeah, we can't play together. Maybe now you don't want to sponsor it. <laughs> Help, save me. I'm dying. You see, later down the line, we're gonna hopefully get monetized and hopefully we'll get a decent amount of viewers also. Then that means that it's gonna make more sense than for the five dollar donations. For now, we barely actually get views. It feels like. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you wanna face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. Like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually, want you to usher, keep the peace, make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking is what we do. <laughs> How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. <laughs> See, Hal's not gratis. Failed romance. Stay in the desert. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Gratis is an English word? I don't even know, dude. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! Lost your nerve? <laughs> My coins on the fatas, fella. Yeah. Uh, one down, baby. We haven't been touched yet. That's it. Right in the right to forget that one, I've been. Come on. This guy is gonna keep peace. Bro, he can't even hit me. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely thrash in, I am. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free. Hey, Al. Your coin? Have it. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. There we go. These bitches think they're strong. Let me just put them in their place. Couldn't even touch me. Two versus one. I didn't even take a hit. They got their ass whipped.
Okay, I guess we're running to the next section, I guess. Uh, right now we have... <laughs> Goodness, sorry, that ass uh, took my brain away from talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's optional. We have to recruit jugglers uh, from the performing uh, troop. Oh, fuck. Or we could just talk to Rina and start the play. I did. I don't think it's optional. We need to get the jugglers. Hello, baby. Uh, nothing hurts as much as right. life. dead. Uh. We'll recruit the jugglers. I feel like the play will just be so much better with jugglers in it. Let us be honest about it. Hello, baby. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? This not Sr. Chen? <laughs> Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. <laughs> I am a, I'm a man of few words. You to say it again. <laughs> so you're the ones. Oh, fat so. Look, what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Straight cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insult with our archemel fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Keep it together, man. We had enough. Are you sure? Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Washed your hair lately. <laughs> no. But do you want to wash my hair lately? I want to come here and wash my hair. <laughs> For you at Chapel's Burning. 
Uh, we got a, another upgrade here. Unlocks at level 15, so I'll take it at level 15 then. So you're gonna take this, Adrenaline. When your vitality reaches zero, it will consume Adrenaline instead of dying. I think that's actually pretty insane. Here I am. Let's do it, girl. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So who do you see playing the Doppler prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Um, I prefer someone that will actually show up for work. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Thank you. Likely so, the project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm not an actor, no talent. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? I'll be fine. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Have Priscilla do it. Yes, I would. <laughs> Lick her. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you like to putting on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're you going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Thank you, bro. Kind of need it. Ladies and...
and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Hopefully this will be a good show. I'll try my best. Act one. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Do you slay the... Uh, uh, I don't even know. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... Uh, and no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Act two. I have one line each act. We, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. <laughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract, a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Oh, snap. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades. Fear a Doppler? Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals, but the base heart. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. 
The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he. Show love to the Dopplers, no? Yeah. Show love for Dopplers. As well as for fish. The <laughs> is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. It's not him. in the dungeon! This is the Doppler. We we found him. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. <laughs> the Doppler could also be the cat, but I don't think so. I think we found him. me how'd you do it greetings doo-doo heard about that souvenir horson left on your face so you know everything have you seen siri no still looking for her Geralt, masterful you did great haven't they laughed that hard in ages lads won't believe it when i tell them explain one thing to me how do you and dandelion manage to displease reuven horson and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Maybe you should have. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Hold down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Yeah. Transform. Change into her. Show me those nips. <laughs> Wait, what? I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. 
Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. So let's go. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. <laughs> exactly. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. I'm more interested in the experience, though. Cursed mage hunters. I thought things couldn't get any worse. We got 110 XP, 30 crowns. Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah, this is a pretty far away, actually, where we have to go now. It's here somewhere. So it's fast as to turn around. We'll go here. Now I'm not too sure. It's like roughly here where we need to go. So let's go here then. Took longer than 10 minutes, but I'm back. Welcome back, Trixie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, quest. I just want to make sure. Le requires level 13. We're still a Gucci. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit the horse. What are you doing? We're just following where the line is taking us. What's happening here? Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. Add it up for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let them through before I get angry. Huh? That a threat? You'll not talk to me that way. Oh, no. Are you sure? We're done. Get him! He's a quick devil! That guy just got destroyed into half, dude. Are you gonna shoot me? It's game over, man. You got absolutely... Destroyed. We'll let them through now? Oh, snap, I can't hear you. We got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you, 
You was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. A shirt, common shirt. No, thank you. So pale if you ate onions and oil. Kind of like a side quest we, we were forced to actually do. Which is kind of strange. What the heck is those people sitting there for? Hello, baby. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. There's no place for her, that's true, but like... Why would she come all the way out here to try and stay with us? I think it's more risky for her to run back alone. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know, as soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? <laughs> Fuck that game. Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics. That's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Hello, baby. Dandelion. Damn it. So what do we do? Can you run, horse? Or are you just gonna stand there? Stupid idiot. Shit. Lost it. Rode through here. Gotta look for tracks. Here we go. No, that's a red plant.
There we go. I assume it's not like time based, so like we're, I'm just gonna go like this. Level 18, bro. Are you kidding me? It's just safer for me running around. So far, so good. Crumpled sheet. The day my bloom, when you recall this heart you rent through cruel denial, words of doom. <laughs> Must have broken his heart to part with that little ditty. Yes, that's what we're following the whole time. You can chill now. <laughs> Spend all night spanking whores. So tired, you're positively. Anyone right through here? Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind dash by. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Where'd you come from? Ooh. I mean, do we trust what he said? Because I can clearly see the trail still here. Now how's the work going, good man? Preparing for the harvest and all that, eh? Harvest? In springtime. Damn it. Followed the wrong trail. Gotta look for a set of single hoof marks. Heavily laden horse. Thank you. I was wondering, like, the, the circle did an update. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. What are you selling? You can actually use the sword now, I think. But it's a steel sword, dude. Oh, he's stealing. <laughs> Farewell.
Okay, where are you going from here, dude? Did your horse just vanish? <laughs> Did it like jump in the air? I think it might have started limping. so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door in the back. Thanks. Thank you, good sir. There, I said, and shut it. All right, all right. But what then? How long do you think you can keep me in this hut? Oh, don't do that. I almost fell down, dude. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a crack end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Tank Rats Viscount Dolettenhove. I can. Come on, everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed item. You expect me to reveal my full title for every goitered idiot I run across. Now, if you could just unbind... How do I get where I need to go? Here's another ladder. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Thought we heard something. What? Hello, baby. Die, damn it. Okay. Got a new weapon there. Hello, baby. Can't you just like pull your tongue forward and? Okay. Daryl, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's? Come on, we'll talk outside. Ooh, he's in trouble now. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this last to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here... You haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Here we go. Playing Siri again, dude. That's what I'm talking about. About to see some juicy butt cheeks again. Grab the bitch! 
Yes. Grab her! Oh, I'm concerned, mate. Bullshit, Junior. Keep it together, mate! Free from the temple. Dead. Wow. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> the horse kicked him dead. <laughs> She blinked. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Halflings, is that another word for dwarfs? Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all mean this you get it from horson whoa siri will be overjoyed horson on the other hand's got to be pretty furious uh no they're like i don't think it's siri as an iphone siri i i think her name is Siri Alyssa or something like that uh full name siri ever tell you what this is and horson why'd she go to him with it she went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself, probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv don ep tenaid, bundro isne iakas. 
doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. No problem, brother. I got you. That looks so trippy on the uh, vertical stream. <laughs> got another side quest here. Blood and Wine, congratulations, you can now begin the adventure of Blood and Wine expansion. Your currently tracked quest has changed the first quest to the Blood and Wine expansion. Yet only recommended starting at level 30, 34, good goodness, dude. But why ever would he want that? Yeah, we're not gonna do that, that's for sure. Not yet, at least. 34? Bro, I'm not even halfway. We're so underleveled, it's not even a joke. Um, find the body of the pillar in the swamp. Uh, swamp. Uh, we are um, grateful that we wanted to demonstrate that. So, uh, we got this wee gift for you. Don't what the heck? Rock. Nice. Ah, uh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Hopefully we can sell that worth something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see where this quest is. All the way south. Somewhat here, I would say. Yeah, we gotta do some side quests, get a level or two. Just a level would be fine. Um, let's upgrade this one right here. Should we upgrade it? No, let's go into this first. Um, ignore bomb. Eating gener regenerate vitality for 20 minutes. Oh, I thought it was one hour. Yeah, we'll take that. Twenty minutes. That is actually pretty insane though. Not that we eat food in a long time actually. Wait, stop hurting me feelings, my brother. Sure, let's loot first, I guess. Yeah, we're like level 15 now, doing a level 7 or 8 quest, so... These monsters should be easy. Stay clear of that fog if you value your life. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twer me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. 
I can help. For a fee. Of course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard ye could choke. Okay, so far I'm not losing any HP though. Triple kill. Here we go, baby. Swamps kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Incinerate. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Imagine that was our whole quest. Whoa, this is our whole quest. Right? Yeah, no. But it's so far away where we have to go now. It's all the way here. To be faster for us to almost turn around. Turn around. Let's dance. We can dance if you want to. Goodness, I haven't said that in a long time. Okay, let's just see. Oh, we need to turn around on this path. Come on, horse. You can do this. Come on. Okay, psych was done. We'll have to ride north from here. 